Welcome to my F5 LTM training series. My name is Trevor. I'm really excited to start this series with you. I thought a great opening concept would be to just go back to the most basic idea and just simply define what a load balancer actually is. The Big IP LTM load balancer at its very core is a layer three networking device. It is similar to a router, but the Big IP LTM system can do way much more than just a basic router. So let's think about what a layer three device does. It first accepts a packet and then it analyzes the IP header. It's gonna add a connection to its connection table and then it's going to inspect the access control policies on the device and it's going to make a routing decision based off of all that data. Okay, so this is where a router stops. It doesn't process anything beyond that. That's the only thing it does. The big IP LCM system though can analyze payloads and data at the application layer and it can actually use that data to intelligently tune the load on the networking servers behind it. Now let's take a moment to stop and think about exactly what that concept means. It can intelligently tune the load on networking servers. What that's saying is the Big IP LTM system has the ability to not just blindly send a request to a server, but it can actually make an intelligent decision on which server it sends it to. It actually has the ability to look at the connection loads on all of its servers and decide which networking server resource is the perfect choice for that new client request. That right there is one of the most commonly used features on the LTM and one of the main reasons as to what separates it from a traditional router. Other features the Big IP LTM system offers would be that it has the ability to intercept and redirect incoming networking traffic. An example of that would be an application URL or URI redirect. The Big IP LTM has the ability to perform SSL certificate based authentication and termination. The LTM has a dedicated SSL module installed that is reserved to only encrypt and re-encrypt traffic. What this means is the web servers no longer have to waste valuable CPU cycles encrypting and re-encrypting traffic. The LTM can do it for you. The Big IP LTM can inspect application data and make load balancing decisions based off of that data. Let's say you have one server and you want all of your iPad users or Mozilla Firefox users to go to it. The LTM can do that for you through the use of iRules. iRules are like magic, by the way. You can literally do anything with them, but just be careful who you tell that to, okay? <laughs> The Big IP LTM system can do compressions and optimizations on your HTTP traffic to maximize your web performance. Packet filters are going to be the main form of network access control on this platform as well. For people with firewall experience, think of this as your access control list. So in summary, the Big IP LTM system not only intelligently decides which server will receive the networking traffic, but it also enhances your network security. It also allows you to maximize your server's resources by performing tasks such as SSL encryption and decryption that the servers would normally perform on their own if it weren't for the Big IP LTM. Now that you have a better understanding and idea of what a load balancer is, in my next video I'm going to break down how load balancing actually occurs on the Big IP LTM system. Please click the link in the description to see the entire Big IP LTM playlist. Please leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.